हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ सूरज कुमार गुप्ता एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एमएलवी टेक्सटाइल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज भिलवाड़ा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ पावर दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द फोर्थ यूनिट ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल हैव अ लुक ओवर व्हाट वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स इन द लेक्चर 1 वी हैव डन द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ पावर ट्रांसमिशन we derive the formula for velocity ratio for simple belt drive for two cases that is slipping and non slipping condition and third is we did some practices uh, of the numerical problem uh, depend upon this velocity ratios and in lecture 2 we derive the formula for total length of the belt in open belt drive and we did uh, practice numerical on the total length of the belt In lecture three, we derive the formula for total length of the cross belt drive. We just have uh, we have seen this formula uh, just as a open belt drive, and we understand the tension in the belt, and we derive the relation of um, tension ratio uh, with the um, with the coefficient of friction and angle of contact in simple belt drive. Now, in the fourth lecture, we will. Uh, um, see the power formula in the belt drive and we will derive the equation of uh, the formula for the cent centrifugal tension and we will um, uh, in we will study the centrifugal tension in detail so the, what is the power transmitted by the belt drive now we have uh, decided that uh, this is the uh, slack side and this is the tight side as uh, this is the driven and this is driver so uh, this is tight uh, tight side and this is the driver and the power is to be transmitted to the driven pulley uh, with the speed having the driver is omega 1 and at uh, driven it is omega 2 so if we take uh, if we take any of the tri um, pulley as uh, we can see that this is uh, t1 and this is t2 and it is rotating in the uh, anti clockwise direction it is anti clockwise direction so um, we have to find out what is the torque total torque or you can say that uh, resultant torque uh, we can see this is a force and this is force and both forces are trying to rotate the um, pulley this force is trying to rotate in the anti clockwise direction and this force is trying to rotate in the clockwise direction but the pulley is rotating in the anti clockwise direction because t1 is more than t2 so uh, what is the total torque this is anti clockwise direction torque minus this clockwise direction torque so uh, what is the anti clockwise direction torque t1 r force multiplied by perpendicular distance and mi minus t2 into r so the work done by this torque is will be same the work done equals to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance so uh, this is force uh, this is force t1 and this is minus t2 because it is cl uh, clockwise and this is anti clockwise but resultant is anti clockwise so t1 is greater than t2 so t1 minus t2 into r is the torque and this torque is responsible for the work done of the pulley then we can find out the power power is defined as the product of torque multiplied by angular velocity so t into omega is angular velocity and we can say that this if this is a force resultant force multiply by this r and r multiply by omega means here torque there is a t1 minus t2 into r so r omega will be r omega will be linear velocity that is belt belt velocity and t1 minus t2 will be force so force multiply by linear velocity will also give us power and torque multiply by angular velocity will be power so uh, i have a question for you that what, uh, what it, it is it is driver or driven see the direction of the t1 and t2 and see the direction of rotation of pulley and decide this is it driver or driven now we have the formula power equals to t1 minus t2 multiplied by r into omega this r omega is linear velocity and this t1 minus t2 can be termed as a force resultant force this force multiplied by r omega means force multiplied by linear velocity vb the belt velocity 
so the power equals to t1 minus t2 r and we can replace this omega by 2 pi m by 60 and this is the torque we are going to um, and we should not uh, be confused with this t and this t this is torque and this is tension this is tension so i have given the uh, different notation for the torque and uh, torque and and uh, tensions so power at uh, driver pulley is 2 pi n dr t dr divided by 60 that will be equals to 2 pi n dn t dn divided by 60 but t dr is a torque at a driver and this t dn is torque at driven pulley so uh, what is the uh, torque at a driver pulley what is the value it will be the force multiplied by perpendicular distance this is t1 minus t2 multiplied by perpendicular distance and the same way the torque at a driven pulley is t1 minus t2 multiplied by r into r dn this is torque at driven pulley so this is the formula for the power in the uh, belt drive so you have to remember this formula and this formula now the centrifugal tension in the belt what is the centrifugal centrifugal come mm, the meaning of centrifugal is uh, hypothetical we can say hypothetical yeah uh, or it it will generate when a body is rotating at a curve, um, curved path the um, force is applied on the body um, which is responsible to get out from the its center of curvature so this force is, will apply on the body which is rotating at a certain point so it is the tensile force generated into the belt due to centrifugal force when the belt is moving with a velocity that is we know that the velocity of the belt is vb and we know that the belt is also having some mass so if the it is having mass and it is having velocity so it will create centrifugal force which will apply uh, in the direction away from the center so uh, we can see that the, if this centrifugal force is applying on the belt so uh, belt is uh, belt will experience some extra tension in this directions extra tension because the belt should not be uh, go away from the pulley so we should um, experience some extra tension which is responsible for the contact between the belt and pulley so there will be a tension this is tc and this is tc so we have already this t1 and this t2 but due to centrifugal force there will be centrifugal tension this is centrifugal tension so this t1 uh, will be uh, converted into t1 plus tc and this t2 will convert into t2 plus tc this tension is added in the both the tension that is t1 and t2 and that will be t1 plus tc then uh, this uh, this uh, value will be t1 max and this value will be t2 max Therefore, the tension ratio will be T1 plus Tc divided by T2 plus Tc that will be equals to E raised to mu theta. This derivation we have already done in the previous lecture. So, power will be power will be this tension minus this tension multiplied by R into omega. So, this tension minus T2 plus Tc multiplied by R1 omega 1 or we can say R2 omega 2. So, uh, we can see that Tc is cancelled out and we will have the same formula t1 minus t2 mul multiply by r1 omega 1 or r2 omega 2 so the power formula will not change if the centrifugal tension is there now the derivation for the centrifugal tension means uh, what is the value of this tc so we are going to derive the, the formula for tc it is the additional tension developed in the belt in the presence of centrifugal force we have already uh, known about this so now i am going to make a pulley and belt uh, this uh, if only there is a centrifugal tension so there is a centrifugal tension in this direction at every point there is a centrifugal centrifugal force so if i take this uh, small strip then also there is a centrifugal tension but it is tangential here it is tangential to this and here it is tangential to this if this if we are uh, assuming this point then tangential to this so uh, if we take this strip of uh, d theta so ha half angle is d theta by 2 d theta by 2 as and uh, so this is d theta by 2 also so this is also d theta by 2 and centrifugal force is applying uh, in the direction away from the center fc so in this case we have to uh, balance the forces upward forces to the downward forces so what are the um, total upward forces is fc only and uh, if we uh, if we 
if we this if we uh, take the component of this tc in the horizontal and vertical direction the horizontal direction component will be cancelled out leftward equals to right, rightward tc cos d theta by 2 tc cos d theta, d theta by 2 both are will be cancelled out and uh, we will have the vertical component of this tc in this direction that is tc sin d theta by 2 and of this of this uh, vertical component will be tc sin d theta by 2 so there are two tc dies in uh, sin d theta by 2 in the downward direction and there is upward direction this is fc this is centrifugal force so uh, this is not in use because cancel out forces and uh, mm, this is this will be used so uh, but uh, before that we have to know that uh, m m here it is not a mass it is a mass per unit length so mass of the small strip m is the mass per unit length means there is a total length of the bed so there is a mass of suppose there is a mass of uh, 10 10 kg and uh, if we are taking the length of the length of the bed is 20 kg sorry 20 meter so what will be the small m it will be 10 by 20 that is 10 by 20 is 0.5 kg per meter 0.5 kg per meter so what is the mass of the this strip if you are saying that in 1 meter the mass is 0.5 so what is the mass of this strip what is the length of this strip this the length of this strip is this this is an arc and this is the radius and this is d theta so what is the length is r into d theta so per unit per meter the mass is small m so for this r d theta the mass will be m into r d theta so we're going to see this uh, mass is m into r d theta length of the strip is r d theta so mass will be m into r d theta you have to remember this uh, the, you have to take care about this this m is not mass this is mass per unit length now we are applying the equilibrium equation summation of f y equals to zero uh, so so the total downward force equals to total upward force so 2 tc sin d theta by 2 equals to fc since we also know that the fc equals to centrifugal force that is mass multiplied by velocity ratio divided by radius that is mv square by r but mass is total mass total mass of the strip so um, the total uh, downward force is 2, 2, C, 2 tc sin d theta by 2 that is equals to mass of the strip multiplied by v square divided by r so d theta is very small so sin d theta will be d theta by 2 so 2 tc d theta by 2 equals to m into r d theta which is because the mass of the strip was m into r d theta r d theta multiplied by v square divided by r so tc will be will come out uh, d theta is cancelled out r is cancelled out and 2 is cancelled out so tc will be mv square but once again i'm saying that this m is not a mass this is mass per unit length and v is the belt, belt velocity that is r1 omega 1 or we can say r2 omega 2 now the uh, t1 max it will be t1 plus tc means the centrifugal tensor will be added and t2 max will be t2 plus tc no, so now the formula will be t1 max divided by t2 max equals to e raised power mu theta but uh, we have to uh, use the centrifugal tension in in formulas if we have to check out the weld velocity is it greater than 8 meter per second or less than if it is less than 8 meter per second then we cannot uh, use the centrifugal formulas uh, because this will be very less this will not um, change any uh, performance of the belt this will not affect the performance of the belt or power of the belt or tension ratio of the belt much more so we will assume we will consider centrifugal tension when the belt velocity is greater than or equal to 8 meter per second okay uh, that's all for the today's lecture we will uh, continue for the next uh, in the next lecture for the belt drive 
in which we will study the initial tension and uh, the tension uh, tension the value of the tension for maximum power so stay tuned for the next lecture thank you